So we've been making a Swiss roll today. Um, Swiss roll is a fatless sponge, so it obviously doesn't contain any fat. Um, the only ingredients are eggs, caster sugar, and flour. Okay, now the, the, the flour is plain flour. It doesn't contain, it's not self-raising, so we're not going to use um, sort of, you know, baking powder to help it rise. What we're going to be using today is the mechanical aeration, right? So we're going to incorporate the air into the mixture in order to make the cake rise. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, uh, whisk the eggs until they're really pale and thick. So I'm going to break them one at a time into my glass bowl. I have already washed my hands. Remember, if I'm touching this raw egg, I'll then need to wash my hands in between as well. So now I'm going to do is I'm going to use a mixer and I mix them. So I'm creating air into the eggs first of all. I'm going to create air in so many different ways. So the first thing is obviously just to whisk these until they're thick and pale. Okay, so as you can see it's completely changing consistency. It's full of some lovely air bubbles creating that air in there. So I'm now going to get my uh, caster sugar. I'm not going to put it all in at once because uh, that'll just sink and it will sort of pop the bubble. So I'm going to incorporate a bit of it at a time um, and continue whisking. You'll notice that I'm still creating more air into the uh, mixture. So I'm aerating. It's now gone nice and silky and smooth now as well. So my last ingredient is the plain flour. So it's the same quantity as sugar to flour, so it's 75 grams. But I'm not going to use the um, mixer now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to sieve the flour into the bowl because I want to aerate the flour even further. So I'm going to place the flour into the sieve. And I want to really get as much air into that flour as possible. I'm not going to use the electric whisk now, I'm actually going to use the technique of folding to fold the flour into the mixture. I'm really being careful not to um, get rid of all those lovely air pockets and bubbles that I've created with the whisk. Okay. Making sure, beside the bowl to make sure there isn't any flour left at the bottom. So now I'm going to place it into my container. Now it's really important to have this done beforehand, otherwise it's going to, the mixture is going to sit around. It's going to sink. So I've lined this. I've actually got some butter spray that I sprayed the container with, and then lined it with baking powder. So I'm just now going to place it into my tin. Shake the tin so it's self level. I'm 
Okay. Just force a little bit to the corners. Okay. And that should be level. I'm just going to level it out a bit there. It's a bit thick there. Okay. Another bang. And then I'm going to place it into the oven um, probably for about 10 to 15 minutes. It doesn't take long to rise. Okay. Okay, so having removed it from the uh, tin, I've taken the, uh, the paper off, and this was the top, and this was sort of, you know, within the tin. What I'm going to do, I'm going to roll it. Still within the greaseproof paper. I'm going to leave it to cool like that. Okay, then I'll prevent the cracking. Now for the filling. Um, Swiss roll traditionally would have cream and jam. Um, you can either roll or just have jam. I would like ours with cream as well. So I'm just going to uh, use the hand mixer to whisk the cream until it's nice and thick. should be enough to put these marks in there. Okay, so we're now going to put it all together. I'm going to unravel. A few cracks, but that's the inside, so that should be fine. Okay. I'm going to start with jam. And jam is your favourite. I like strawberry jam. And you want to leave about a centimetre from the side so that as you roll it, it doesn't ooze out. Any cracks you can just fill in with the jam or the cream. Something inside doesn't really matter. You can always add more if you want it. Again, you don't want it too thick, otherwise it's going to ooze out. It should be enough. So then all I'm going to do now is roll it again, but this time obviously not with the greaseproof paper inside. Doing it gently. There we go. Then you transfer it, or try to anyway, onto a plate. Then decorate with a little bit of icing sugar. And there you go. Swiss roll.